live stream, uh, the promoter is for Rick Rude and Adrian and Dennis Adore. The uh, unarguably the ultimate Dennis and uh, Larry Sharp. So I thought I would hop on here. Play a couple matches with these new with these new cards. Now I was gonna do Adrian Adonis and Rowdy Roddy Piper, but uh, Piper is not online. Although I think I do have him as a created character. Um, but you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do adorable Adrian Adonis and exotic Adrian Street. Let's do that. That might be fun. Um, so here is Adonis's card. Um, oh wait, what happened? How come, uh, <laughs> oh, I see what happened. Uh, give me one second and I will, I will bring it back here. There we go. Okay. I got to close this window. There we go. Here's Adrian Adonis. Um, and we'll take a quick peek at the stats. Insulting slap to face. Uh, oh, he's got a 6-3 pin rating, better than I, I thought they would give him. Um, two finishers, DDT and Goodnight Irene. All right, he this this might be he might be a pretty competitive uh, competitive wrestler here. Uh, definitely not winning any world titles, but uh, you know, there you go, awesome. All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave for now. We're gonna leave Jimmy Hart out of this. We're just gonna take. And you know what I I'm gonna say? I love this artwork. This artwork is is really really great. And Werner killed it. He just he just knocked it out. So, um, here we go. Adrian Adonis versus Exotic Adrian Street. We're gonna leave um, Miss Linda out of the equation as well. Just one on one between these two. Let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. And uh, Exotic Adrian Street's going to start things off with a chicken wing. Now, it's an agility move. He does have the agility. Uh, Adonis has the power. Uh, so that is a hurt, too. Exotic Adrian Street tosses Adonis into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Oh, no, not looking good. Uh, choice H, so that'll be either a death jump or a uh, flying elbow agility. He's going to go for that. He needs an eight or less to make it happen. Ten doesn't get it. Here comes Adonis. Adonis uh, not going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Going to roll up instead. Face rake choice A. So that'll be into the ropes, which is a B. Or Yeah, he's going to go for the ropes. And exotic Adrian Street goes flying into the ropes. And he comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Ooh, choice E. And uh, gonna go for the agility move. This will work on the, the elbow drop. This will work on a, a nine or less. The roll's a five. It does work. Adonis needs Jimmy Hart out there. Uh, hurt two, <laughs> neck breaker three on Adonis. Hurt two uh, into turnbuckle. Throws Adonis into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward off the turnbuckle. Catch the charging opponent with a skull splitting lariat. Opponent rolls on level three defense. Here comes Adonis. And that's a hurt two. Let's see if Adonis can actually do something here. Body slam two against exotic Adrian Street. Hurt two. Falling elbow hammer three on the exotic one. He's going to roll his pin. Target three. Roll seven. Uh, let's see what Adonis comes up with here. Good night, Irene locks it in. The target will be five. The roll six. Exotic Adrian Street not giving up yet. Adrian Adonis follows that right up with the DDT. The target five. The roll six. Again, not uh, can't quite get him. What does Adonis do now? Death jump. Climb into the top. Uh, the adorable one. A big flying clothesline from the top. Rolls on level three offense. Locks in. Good night, Irene again. And the target seven, the roll eight. Uh, exotic Adrian Street just just keeping out now at four fatigue. And Adonis uh, with the death jump again, climbing up to the top. A uh, big flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three. Uh, he's going up again. He's he may be going one too well. Uh, what to the well one too many times, but no, he's still good. Opponent rolls. There's a vertical suplex on Exotic Adrian Street. Down three. Street is going to leave the ring. Um, we're going to say this is no disqualifications, just so we can have a, a different a winner here. Uh, Adonis is not going to roll. Dis well, okay. We'll eh. 
we'll play it until we have a winner. Uh, no, we'll roll disqualification. That's what we're going to do. Uh, DQ is five. He is not disqualified. He's going to roll on level three offense. Death jump. Man, oh, man. He loves uh, he loves jumping. Uh, who has the better agility rating? That's Exotic Adrian Street. He's going to roll on level three offense. Locks in the Cobra Clutch on Adonis. Adonis is going to bail out of the ring, and he grabs Street, whips him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, and goes for a death jump. Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, big flying clothesline from the top. There's the DDT. Seven is the target and the roll is a seven so adrian adonis uh gets a victory in that match now this these matches are not part of uh, hollywood elite wrestling these are just play testing these new cards uh so there you go adonis will be a fun card to use okay let's uh let's look at larry sharp here uh he's gonna be down towards the bottom Larry Sharp. Who should we put Larry Sharp up against? Um, <laughs> who would be a good... Let's put him up against Rocky. No, you know what? Let's put him up against uh, Johnny Rods. Um, these are not in alphabetical order. These are in the order that you added them. So I have to find Johnny Rods. Johnny Rods was... Was he Promoter Prime or was he? I don't know what set anybody was in. Uh, Johnny Rods, Legends Prime 2021. He was. All right, so Larry Sharp versus Johnny Rods is our next match. And then if you are watching along in the chat and you would like to... Uh, If you would like to uh, say who you would like to see Rick Rude go up against, um, you are welcome to do so. Um, all right. Sorry, I was just looking to see if uh, who or if anyone was in the chat watching along here. Here we go. Um, oh, what is happening? Give me one second here. Sorry, folks. And all right, there we go. Larry Sharp. Let's take a look at Larry Sharp's card. We will flip over to the stats and make this. I'll make this a little bit bigger here. Ooh, a little bit too big. Uh, he has. Let's see. He's got a distractor rating of six. Fireman's carry. Sorry, I wanted to make this a little. I, this is just becoming too big. For some reason, uh, he's got a pin of eight five. He doesn't have automatic uh, loss, so that's good. Pile driver zero is the finisher, and uh, there you go. All right, so Larry Sharp versus Johnny Rods. It seems that uh, these two would be relatively evenly matched. So uh, let's roll some dice. Let's ring the bell, and uh, they both roll a seven. So we'll re-roll again. If you're just joining us, Adrian Adonis victorious over Exotic Adrian Street. And now our second match, the the pre-main event, Larry Sharp versus Johnny Rods. This probably should have come first, but uh, here we go. Larry Sharp starting off strong. Uh, Snapmare 2, it's a power move. Look at, they have equal power, equal agility. Uh, so Johnny Rods is a hurt too. Larry Sharp following that up with a knee drop three on Johnny Rods. Going for the pin right away. The target five, the roll is seven. Uh, Larry Sharp, look at, he is looking good. Double sledge two against Johnny Rods. Hurt two. Uh, oops, I clicked that twice. We're going to go with the first one. I rake with boot. It is a power move. They have equal power, so that will work. Hurt two. Larry Sharp with another I rake with boot. Some dirty tactics. Hurt two. And he's really upset that he kicked out of that uh, hold. Elbow smash to the head two. Hurt two. Body slam choice F. And uh, we will go with the power move. This will work on a nine or less. Uh, the roll is a six. And uh, so that does work. And that is a hurt too. Larry Sharp continuing here with another eye rake with the boot. Hurt too. Larry Sharp um, into the turnbuckle C. And the opponent comes at you with a running shoulder dive. Rods moves out of the way. Sharp goes flying out of the ring. Uh, he crawls helplessly back in as Rods takes over. 
Uh, Rods tosses him right back out of the ring. Wild Brawl, the wrestler with the better ring rating, they are equal. So Johnny Rods with a choice G. Uh, so he's going to go... Uh, no, he will go for the power move. This will work on a 10 or less. The roll, a 10. Ooh, he just gets it. Larry Sharp, her too. Johnny Rods follows that up with some wrong, uh, roundhouse right hands. Hurts too. Knee drop, choice C. Gonna go for the agility move. This will work on an 8 or less. It's a 4. It does. Larry Sharp, hurt too. Johnny Rods, again, choice C. Again, gonna go for the agility. Gonna work on an 8 or less. 8. He just barely gets it. Down 3. Can Rods follow up here? Uppercut punch. And uh, Carl Zilla, welcome. Uh, Hurt two. And into the ropes goes Larry Sharp. And he comes off with a running back elbow. And Johnny Rods will uh, hit some repeated stops. Down three. Johnny Rods uh, tosses him out of the ring again. Uh, and R Sharp grabs him, throws him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, rolls on level three offense. There's a suplex assortment, one of my favorite move names. It's just, a, just listen, it's a little sampler. You just take the suplexes you want and you leave the rest for everybody else. Uh, elbow to smash to the head, two, hurt, two. Uh, oops, I clicked that twice, but knee drop three was the next one. And down three, Rods is going to leave the ring and he crawls helplessly back in. Sharp can... Uh, he hits a choice H. Um, he's going to go for the death jump on Johnny Rods. And a big clothesline from the top is going to roll on level three headbutt. Man, oh, man. Uh, Sharp was looking good at the very beginning, and now he's struggling. Uh, out of the ring, he's going to roll up instead. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Di uh, driving knee to the face. Two. Hurt two. Knee drop three on Johnny Rods. Johnny Rods is down. Larry Sharp, choice H, going to go for the agility move. This will work on a nine or less. The roll, a nine. He just gets a Johnny Rods. Going to roll his pin. The target here will be six. The roll, a nine. Another kick out by Johnny Rods. Larry Sharp, headbutt two on Johnny Rods. Down three. Can uh, He gets frustrated, throws him out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in, going to roll on level three offense, another suplex assortment, uh, and that's going to catch him. The target seven, the roll a seven. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Larry Sharp from the new Promoter Prime, uh, beating sort of his counterpoint, counterpoint, counterpoint from last year's Promoter Prime. Uh, there's a look at Larry Sharp's stats and uh, another fun match. All right, it is time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Now, who should we put uh, Rick Rude up against? Um, I do have the created. We can put him up against Kurt Hennig. Um, so Mr. Perfect versus Rick Rude. Let's see how those two do. There's, uh, there's Rick Rude. Let's take a quick look at his stats before we get going here we'll flip this around and uh all right so um he's got a five two pin root awakening plus two there's no special uh little uh asterisks or anything here um looks like a solid card he's got no down on level two defense um he's got three hurt twos on level three um all right Excellent. He's got uh, three, look at three, uh, three level three moves. Um, so this is probably a pretty decent matchup because so does Rude. I mean, so does Henning. Yeah, I picked, I picked good. I picked good. All right. So here we go. Rick Rude versus Kurt Henning and uh, no one at ringside. This is just a standard match. We're going to ring the bell and Rick Rude is going to start things off. Uh, falling forearm drop two, hurts two. Rick Rude swinging neck breaker three on Kurt Henning. Uh, down three. Henning's gonna leave the ring. He's got a B rating, and he grabs Rude, smashes him into the turnbuckle. He's gonna roll on level three offense. Uh, not gonna throw him out of the ring. Gonna roll up instead. Snapmare two on Rude. Hurts two. And standing drop kick three on Rick Rude. Down three. Rude's going to bail out of the ring. 
Uh, try and get a breather. Um, the opponent crushes you a spectacular move outside the ring. Roll your count out. Well, unless this is Snake Eyes, it's not going to be a count out. It's not, but one fatigue. And Henning rolls on level three offense, locks in the sleeper on Rick Rude, and he is down. Uh, figure four leg lock, choice F. Uh, his power is a negative two. His... Gonna have to go with the agility. This will work on a six or less. It's a five. It does work. Rick Rude, level two. Rick Rude reverses it. Here we go. Time to see Rick Rude in some action. Knee lift to the midsection, but it's an agility move. And Kurt Henning is gonna reverse it. Choice B. Uh, so, uh, choice B. His turnbuckle rating is an A. His agility is a negative one. Both of those kind of stink. He's gonna throw him into the turnbuckle. Um, and it's a reversal, and Kurt Henning goes into the turnbuckle. The much-debated turnbuckle B on Kurt Henning. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's a swinging neck breaker on Kurt Henning. Down three. Henning's going to leave the ring, and, uh, ooh, the referee comes out. Rude shoves the ref. He might get disqualified here. He is not. He throws Kurt back in the ring, rolls on level three, rolls a choice H, so that's going to be a death jump. Uh, not going to try the agility move there because that would be ridiculous. Uh, actually, the death jump's kind of ridiculous too. The opponent comes off the top rope with an awesome cross body block. Henning reverses it, and Rick Rude's rolling his pin. The target three, the roll of nine. Man, uh, there is a figure four leg lock choice F again. And... Uh, again, he's going to have to go for the agility move. This will work on a six or less. Seven, it doesn't. Rick Rude reverses it with a double thrust. Uh, yes, I love the artwork for Rick Rude. It's really great. Dazed one, Rude with a face rake and a hip swivel on Mr. Perfect. Dazed one, Rick Rude continuing. Backbreaker, choice D. And his power is a zero. Going to go for that. Needs a nine or less. And the roll's a five. It does work. Hennig in trouble now. Her two. Rick Rude with a suplex. Uh, and down three. Henning's going to leave the ring again. And, oh, now he hits a big move on the outside. And he's going to be rolling his count out. Uh, the target two. The roll of six. So one fatigue for Kurt Hennig. And Rude follows it up. Locks him. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Ignore this next move. We're going to go up. Uh, dazed one. Rick Rude with a bear hug. It's a power move. It will work because he does have the power. But only a dazed one. Falling arm drop two. Two. Kurt Henning hurt too. Rick Rude into the ropes. He's not going to do that. He's going to roll up instead. Face rake and hip swivel one hurt too. That the hip swivel really got him. I'm um, not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up again. Another face rake and hip swivel. And uh, that's a dazed one, Rick Rude, uh, with a knee to the midsection and agility move. So Henning will reverse it with a running knee lift on Rude. Hurt two. Here comes Henning back. Snap mare two. Hurt two. And uh, forearm hammer two. Hurt two. Kurt Henning uh, with a snap mare on Rick Rude. Hurt two. Kurt Henning. Continuing here with a rolling neck snap. Three, down three. Can Henning hit a big move here to finish it up? Uh, he's going to go up for a death jump. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. There's the Henning Plex. Oh, no. Plus two. The target six. The roll is an eight. So Rude able to kick out. But now Henning uh, tries another death jump. Up to the top he goes. Uh, the, uh, the opponent... Climbs to the top, but you recover. Throws him off. Rick Rude rolls on level three offense. Choice H. Um, man, he's got to... Uh, he could roll a five or less. He's going to go for the death jump. Neither is great. Uh, but blast him with a move. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, pile driver three. He can't just can't hit that rude awakening, it seems. Uh, swinging neck breaker three. Down three. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up instead into the ropes. Not going to do that. We're going all the way back up. Uh, back breaker three. Choice D. Uh, going to go for the power move. This will work on a nine or less. The rolls a 12. It doesn't. Henning reverses it. Snap mare two. What a match this is becoming. Dazed one. 
Kurt Henning into the ropes goes Rick Rude. And uh, whoever is more powerful, that's going to be Rude. Rude's going to roll on level two offense. Hit follow it up with a suplex. Hurts two into the ropes. Nope, going to roll up again. Backbreaker choice D again. Again, going to go for the power move. This will work on a nine or less. The roll of five, it does work. Kurt Henning rolling his pin. Target three, roll six. Can Rude follow it up here with something big? Camel clutch, not big enough. Kurt Henning reverses it with a cocky slap to the face, dazing him. And uh, hip toss two, agility, that will work. And hurt two. Kurt Henning running knee lift on Rick Rude. Down three. Rude's going to leave the ring. And he grabs Henning, smashes him into the turnbuckle, throws him back in, locks back in the camel clutch. He could not hit his finish. Dazed one. And a face rake and hip swivel. Now, this caught, this caught him last time. Only a daze this time. Uh, test of strength. Um, I always feel that when there is a test of strength move, it should be a power, it should be a power uh, move. Uh, I just always feel that it should. Hurt too, but the, in, in this thing, it, it works. Uh, Rick Rude uh, rolling on level two, swinging neck breaker on Kurt Henning. Hurt too, locks a sleeper in on Kurt Henning. He is down, top rope sledgehammer on Kurt Henning. He is down, and again, he is going to leave the ring. Uh, oh no, uh, Kurt Henning maybe disqualified five or less here target 11 nope he's gonna throw him back in and uh not gonna throw him out of the ring gonna roll up instead rolling next snap three. Oh no this is the pin the target is a five the roll of 10 he's able to kick out rick rude just able to kick out of everything Henning going up for the death jump. Rick Rude recovers, throws him off, rolls on level three offense. Here's a top rope sledgehammer. Uh, only a Hertz two. Rick Rude back in control. Double thrust to Henning. Henning reverses it. Man, Carl Zilla says, what a match so far. And really, what a match it is. Oops, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Ignore this first thing. Here is the, you come out the ropes with powerful flying shoulder tackle roll on level two offense. Rude back in control, locks the sleeper on Henning, hurt two, and follows that up with a swinging neck breaker on Henning. He is down. Can he hit a finish? No, top rope sledgehammer hurts two. Rick Rude uh, with a suplex on Henning, hurt two. There's the sleeper again on Henning, down three. Henning's going to leave the ring, and he crawls helplessly back in. Rude with a pile driver on Henning, and he is down and again going to leave the ring, and Henning throws him into the turnbuckle now, and will roll on level three offense. Figure four leg lock, choice F, and going to have to go for the agility. This is going to work on a six or less. The roll, an 11. It doesn't. Rick Rude reverses it. And into the turnbuckle it goes Kurt Henning. And Henning lifts a knee, rolls on level two offense. Snap mare. Rick Rude reversing it on level one. Face rake and hip swivel to Kurt Henning. Dazed one. Continuing here, backbreaker again, choice D again, going to go for the power move, needs a nine or less, five, it works, Kurt Hedding, hurt two, Rick Rude with a double thrust, this match is going on and on, the distance, there's the sleeper hold uh, by Rick Rude, and that could knock him out, the target four, the roll six, another fatigue token for Hennig, and Rick Rude follows that up with the choice H, um... Oh, he would need a five or less. He's going to go for the death jump. Going up to the top, Kurt Henning. Uh, the agility. Oh, no, the agility wins. That's going to be Henning. Henning's going to roll on level three offense, and he hits a choice F. And uh, he is going to go for the agility. This will be a six or less. Roll is 12. Rick Rude able to reverse it. Into the turnbuckle goes Kurt Henning. And Kurt Henning reverses it. Rude goes in. Uh, tries a running clothesline. Rude moves. 
He covers <laughs> Henning crashes into the turnbuckle. He covers Henning. Here we go. The target five. The roll is seven. Another kick out. Rick Rude following it up with the camel clutch. And uh, Kurt Henning able to get out of that. Chopped the chest. It's a power move. See, that's where the power should be. The, the, oh, uh, oh, no, I guess that's uh, Kurt Henning. Never mind. Uh, double thrust to two. I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Kurt Henning reverses it on level one. Clocky, cocky, slap to the face. Dazed one into the ropes goes Rick Rude. Uh, the opponent tries for a sunset flip. Rude grabs his leg. Opponent rolls pin. The target is six. The roll is a two. And it ends in doubles. Rick Rude wins with a come from behind a surprise pinning combination. And uh, just for uh, fun, well, this is this is not part of Hollywood Elite Wrestling, but we'll roll on the feud table to see what happens. Uh, Wrestler of Your Choice comes out to help the aggressor. Victims re me, 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 me. All right, injury. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the three new Promoter Prime cards. Uh, Adrian Adonis victorious. Um, I forgot who won. Our, did they all win? I think they all won. Uh, I would have to go back and look. All right, that is it. Just a brief little live stream here today to check out the new cards. And... Um, Carl Zilla saying, excellent finish for this match. It screams official rematch. You're right. It does. Absolutely. And uh, yes, uh, some of these cards. Well, tomorrow night I got something interesting planned. So we're going to do that. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking uh, everything out. Huge shout out to our patrons who make the videos on this channel possible. And a big thanks to you for uh, tuning in for this. Uh, we'll be back uh, Wednesday night with another live stream. Uh, uh, but of course, uh, videos all throughout, um, uh, all throughout the uh, uh, the week, and uh, that's it. Uh, have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.